Okay, here we are at the Berrigan Shire water treatment plant where we're um, going to be stripping the sand filter and the water clarifier um, and applying protective coatings to make them last another 15 years. Okay, here we are on top of the um, clarifier. Um, so we'll be blasting the inside here. As you can see, it's a lot of work. The sand clarifier is 6 metres across. Um, the sand filter here is 3 metres across with a bit of a false floor underneath. Everybody likes a good boy. So we've got a little bit of work to do inside there as well. Anyway, like I always like to say, it's a beautiful day for a paint job. Paid, a technical sales manager with uh, SIPS. At the moment we're just um, filling out some paperwork, checking the atmospheric conditions. Currently, um, as recorded, we've got 19.3 um, degrees Celsius, got a humidity of 45% and the dew point is um, 6.7, um, which are ideal conditions for, um, for applying these coatings. What we're doing is just measuring the blast profile here and we're just getting, getting a reading off this device and then just making a recording of it just, just to ensure that the, um, the blast pr profile is, is adequate for the coating um, and as you can see from a close-up you can actually um, actually see the, the metal, the bare metal that's come through um, which is ideal um, now to actually apply that coating on there so we know it's clean It's all looking good, let's do it We're certainly ready to paint, you couldn't get better conditions than this After we've checked the surface preparation and we've applied the uh, primer, we need to check the dry film thickness. We've got uh, points mapped out around, around these tanks and we're making sure that we're taking readings at the same points um, at the time of priming and then we'll, we'll repeat the same process as we go through um, intermediate and finished coats. Yes. So, so far everything's conforming? Yep, absolutely. In, in fact, it's, it's exceeding um, the specification minimum. So that's this good. application of the EB600 um, intermediate coat, it's going on at 310 microns wet. How much is that? 400. Yeah. Let the product cure for eight hours overnight and begin work again tomorrow morning. Here we are applying the final coat of um, Poly U400 to the exterior of the tanks. It's going on with a wet film thickness of 100 microns uh, to achieve a dry film thickness of 50 microns. In the back we've got Tui 
um, you'll see the colour is uh, Australian Standards Manila. Okay, that's one white tank. And this will make two white tanks. Okay, so we're in the um, the clarifier tank. Uh, there's all the tank winding's been applied, it's had four days to cure. So we're just inside now inspecting the surface to ensure that there's no defects and make sure we've got the right uh, film thicknesses. With this product, we're creating a tank, with a vessel within a vessel essentially, we're creating a liner. So we, we need a seamless paint surface, we need to ensure that there's no breaks. Oh, baby,